Hi guys, welcome to Trade for Latin channel. This is channel where you will learn how to use this or utilize this market, especially options trading as a business instead of just doing a trading. So in this channel you will learn how to track your option strategies weekly or maybe intraday on a expiry day and how to earn consistent income without doing too much involvement in market to observe the charts, patterns, all those things. Uh, this is best suit for professionals, those who spend too much time in office hours. And in this channel, we are going to track paper trading till we learn better options of managing our strategies and maintaining consistency and doing safer execution of strategies to keep our capital safe so once we learn we are going to indulge with the real money and we are going to track the same type of strategies to earn the profit so as of now today we are going to discuss about 7th february 2019 expiry strategy what we what is the strategy that we have built how it got executed and what is the profit or loss that we earned let's go to the document so before going to the document, if you guys not yet subscribe, please subscribe to this channel so that you'll get a limited weekly one notification to explain the strategy that what we build and it will not bombard with too many notifications or anything. So you can easily subscribe, share and like the videos. If you didn't go through the, my previous videos, you can go through by these channels, then you'll get to know clear picture about this channel. Okay, let's go to the document. So for 7th February, what is the strategy that we followed? Um, by 31st January, the strategy what we executed and by intraday and, and what is the last, like like a loss, almost like 18,180 loss that occurred in the last 31st January expiry in intraday that we, that teach us like what to do, how to keep your capital in a safer side instead of earning more profit. So this time we went with a safer strategy, which has a, which, which, which provides actually adjustment in case if it goes wrong, it comes with a both hedging for holding for a weekly expiry as well as intraday. Let's explain this what happened. So on uh, entry on February 1st itself, we entered around 11.30 AM, bank nifty was uh, ranging around 27,285, 21,000. Sorry, 27,285 in the same range where the bank nifty is now around with 100 points or 150 points difference. So we thought let's go with the strategy where we have it's something called a calendar spread. So what we have done, we sold three lots of 7 February 26,900p. Uh, and we brought 28th, 28th February to uh, up 26,400 strike price put, uh, which is cost around 163.65 and we sold 108.8 rupees, three lot and brought three lot. So by doing this, the hedging strategy was look like this somewhat. So in this strategy, we can easily hedge if in case if it goes against and start breaking the break point, what you call um, break even point. So it was having some range of if you see here 26,600 to 27,700 almost 1000 points break even points so it was we thought it was a safer side we executed and it was end up within the same range where we have a lower lower edge instead of reaching to the peak so we end up with a few um, profit so if you see here on 7th February I mean today uh, we saw around 1030 am we thought that uh, because of this uh, RBA policy in execution we thought let's execute and exit from the strategy so um, we exit both of the position at 108.8 for uh, 7th Feb 26900p and 28th Feb 26400p we exit at 94 sorry wrong actually we exit around if you see here in the chart 2.95 it meant uh, 2.95 we exit this one is 2.95 and another one 
and whichever is the like a higher expiry uh, strategy higher month weekly expiry strategies that we exited 93 rupees 93 rupees oh sorry it was already written you can see here here 93 rupees and uh, 2.93 rupees so end up with a profit of 2102 2, rupees and the indulge capital was around 1 lakh 27,000 and we should have a, some extra capital to hedge if in case or to adjust the position if in case it goes against the break in point that's why we kept with it 1, 1 lakh 27,000 only and after that in the same time uh, we got all the margins I mean so capital so we indulge that same money in uh, intraday strategies with a th three times margin but this time when you're selling we got to know that how it impact your psychology and not stopping at a stop loss or letting the loss go a bigger option so what we have done we did some different manipulations so that we will not earn big profit but still we are in a safer set what we have done we sold 7 february 20, i mean today's 27,800 at 7 rupees 65 at 8 lot and seven, uh, same 27,700 lower one we brought two lot at 18 rupees so there will be some difference but still we are in a profit if in case it goes to an end with a 0.0 rupees and ultimately it happened same thing so we earned some nine, uh, 498 rupees, eight rupees profit uh, so I end up with total of 2,601 uh, rupees profit this is how we execute a strategy and by these times we understood that uh, the good thing about option strategy is not what you earn and how, how what is ROI in the sense like what is a percentage that you earn it's always uh, how safely you secure your capital it may be the earning a small piece of chunk and compared to the percentage but it should not end up with a big loss because option trading is safer as, as well as it's a actually thing that it might end up your whole capital go zero so that's what we are learned so from this we understood that saving the capital for a future is first priority than earning the profit so from this we earned this 2,601 rupees so guys uh, today's uh, expiry day so I didn't uh, prepare any strategy for that tomorrow I might, I might going to prepare the strategy for the next week so I'll be updating the video so thank you guys for subscribing and watching this video and also I'll show this track records where we have executed if you see here 42, 43, these are the two strategies that we executed and explained now. All this you can access and see. And other two things are intraday that we executed. According to that, if you see, that was the biggest loss that we executed previously. It was around 18,000, minus 18,000. So that it and my whole profit reduced and came back from 23% to 5%. So, but still it's fine because still we are in positive. And this is the pivot um, chart, it was how it looked like. So if you see here, this is the biggest weekly loss. And this is the biggest monthly loss in, year, in January 1st. But still we are in a more greens. So just one thing that we learn, we have to avoid, we can't avoid the negative things, but we can minimize the uh, percentage that what we are going to lose. Obviously there will be some loss, but we should minimize that. The number of loss might be fine, but it should not be bulk. Uh, number of green should be higher. Number of red should be minimal, and also the quantity of the loss that should be minimal. Then only we can go to positive trend. So this is a result card. How it a result graph? How it looked like? Uh, this was a big loss that what we explained previously, and this is the live update. If you guys don't know this one, this is a way a chart where it will show the current executed strategy with a broad price and current price and net change and quantity all those things this is lively update every um, one minute on market hours and uh, here you will see the current weeks or next week or whatever the week that we are using um, with the total call ratio call and put and highest open interest call at and highest open interest put uh, and the strike price for, with respect to that and the max pain as well as bank high low and current and point, points lost or gain or percentage and this chart is like a ratio of the open interest for the current week and then this is the profit loss bar and this is what we explained here the current week and next week open interest high uh, open interest call and put 
as well as the strike rates and highest open interest for this particular strike price. All these things will be explained here. So this is built by some uh, few logic with the Google Sheet with the PBS script that I'll going to explain in other video that will be useful for you guys to track easily instead of going and checking the chart or these things. So this was a strategy that we followed, which should be expecting within this bound to get expired and get a more profits. So we are expecting to go a bit down, but it went up, but still it was in the range. So we are end up with a profit. So let's see guys, like what what, what is the next strategy that I'm going to build and how it got how it got executed and how it will be reacted in the next week expiry. So till the times. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share that will help me to upload more videos and you will also learn along with me before introduce or indulge your money to market and earn profit that's all guys from this video so one thing for options trader i'm just suggesting is like it's not about what you earn it's about how you save what like your capital so that you will have the big chunk of money to earn a small small profit that will end up with a successful trader. Thank you guys. Bye.